Okay then my friends, so there is a little bit of initial setup when it comes to using Laravel to create websites and there's several different ways to go about it, but do not let that put you off. It's pretty simple and I'm gonna run through all the steps that you need to take. So first of all, you'll need PHP and MySQL installed on your computer. Now an easy way to do that on Windows is to install a XAMPP or XAMPP. And if you don't know how to do that, definitely check out my PHP and MySQL series because I go into depth on how to set that up in that series. The link is gonna be down below. And ideally for things to run smoothly in this course, I would recommend that you get the latest version of XAMPP, which has the latest version of MariaDB in it as well. And that's important when it comes to communicating with our database. So definitely get the latest version of this, install it on your computer and make sure everything works. So next we're gonna to need to install Composer. And Composer is a package or dependency manager for PHP. It allows us to basically install PHP packages or libraries into our projects. For example, we could install some kind of date package which would help us format dates. Now Laravel itself is also just a package which in turn depends on other packages. So what we're gonna do is install Composer to manage all of that for us. It's a little bit like NPM for Node, but in PHP we have Composer, right? So what you wanna do is click on download and then you can download the Composer installer right up here and that's gonna configure everything for us out of the box. So click on this link to do that. And it's also gonna add Composer to the path variable so we can use it anywhere on our computer. But if you want to do it manually, you could do as well by copying and pasting this code right here into your terminal and then manually configuring the path variable yourself. So make sure you have PHP and MySQL installed and also Composer as well before you carry on. Okay then, so hopefully now you have everything installed and we can go ahead and create a Laravel project. So first things first, open up some kind of terminal. I'm gonna open up command prompt and then I'm gonna say, first of all, composer and then hyphen capital V, just to make sure that composer is installed on my computer and you should see a version number. If you don't, it means you've not installed it correctly. So try doing that again before you carry on. Okay, so next what we need to do is install Laravel onto our computer so that we can easily generate new Laravel projects. And the way we do that is using Composer. So we say Composer and then Global, meaning we're installing this globally on our computer. And by the way, make sure this is not in capitals. So Composer and then Global and then Require. We're going to require a package and that is Laravel forward slash installer. So this is going to install the Laravel installer package globally on our computer. And that means that we can use that then to create new Laravel projects wherever we want in any directory. So what I'm going to do is CD into the documents directory. And by the way, CD stands for change directory. So this means it's going to jump into the documents directory. If I wanted to go up a level, I'm going to say CD space dot dot. That takes me out of the documents back into Sean. So I'm going to CD into documents again, and then I'm going to go into a folder inside this folder called Laravel. And this is where I'm going to create my project. Now to do that, we can say Laravel, which we have access to now because we installed this package up here and we create a new project by saying new and then the project name. Now I'm gonna call this Pizza House. You can call it what you want, but the project we're creating is called Pizza House. So press enter. And this is gonna take a little bit of time to create the first time you do it, but less time thereafter. But anyway, once it's done, then just CD or go into the project directory. Okay then, so once that is installed, just CD into the project directory that you just created. I called it Pizza House, so let's CD into that. And then from here, I want to open up a text editor in this directory, VS Code. Now to do that, using VS Code on Windows, I can just say code and then dot to mean in this current directory. And that opens VS Code in this directory for me. It's opened it on my other screen. So let me just scoot it over here. Or you could just open up the directory manually from whatever code editor you're using. So what I'm gonna do now is actually just close this terminal because VS Code comes baked with its own terminal and I'm gonna use that. But if you don't have that, you can keep this open if you like because we are gonna be using the terminal later on. I'm gonna close it 
and I'm going to open up this terminal over here by going to terminal and new terminal. Now over here, all you need to do to see this website, because we want to see it in a browser, right? These are all the codes that make up the website, but we want to see it. We want to preview it. We can use something called Artisan. Now, Artisan is a command line interface included with Laravel, and it's got many different features. One of them is to spin up a development service so that we can preview our project, but it's also going to help with other things in the future as well. So the way we use Artisan to spin up a development server is by first of all making sure we're in the correct directory, Pizza House. That's what this app is called. Then we say PHP and then Artisan and then serve. And this creates a development server for us. Right here is the link so I can control click to open that. It's opened on my other screen. So let me just move it across over here. And this is the new Laravel project. This is kind of like the dummy project that comes along for the ride every time you create a new Laravel project. So there's a lot of different folders and a lot of different files in those folders, which could be a little off-putting when you first start a project. But don't worry, we're going to talk about most of this as we go through the course, and that's going to start in the very next lesson.